Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Du Ya Hong from China Railway uh, ITC. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, I'm uh, Jian Feng Ding. I'm from Intel, Beijing. Yeah. Um, today, I want to share, share some China Railway's Homestack uh, stories for, uh, for, uh, for us. So, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, this one. Yeah. Sorry, that's my laptop, so. <laughs> this page, right? Yeah. OK, thank you. OK, uh, China Railway is a solid state owned uh, enterprise under the direct management of uh, the central government, which focuses on uh, railway passenger and uh, freight transport service. China Railway uh, has, been has been rapidly developing in over the past two decades. In the first decade, we carried out six times of train speed up, and in the second decade, uh, large scale of uh, high speed railway has been, uh, high speed railway construction has been implemented. Uh, and with the booming of development, China Railway's mileage in service has been reached 124,000 kilometers of which 22,000 uh, is high-speed railway. As of the end of 2016, uh, in 2016, uh, China Railway's passenger volume was 2.1 billion people, with a yearly growth rate of 9.1% since 2010. While the freight volume was 3.3 billion tons, falling 1.5% since 2010, which reflects the fact that a significant and fundamental uh, economic and social transformation has been taking place in China. The greatest challenge China Railway faces is how to change the traditional freight volume to modern logistic uh, business, so as to build a world-class modern logistic enterprise. Uh, China Railway's uh, development requires solid, uh, solid uh, technical support from China Railway's IT department to satisfy the demands uh, of uh, internet, internet Plus and uh, uh, mental uh, transformation. Uh, especially in the terms of IT infrastructure, uh, the traditional project-driven uh, project construction mode of information system cannot satisfy uh, the uh, railway business. So we are calling on uh, um, cloud computing to build a, an efficient, convenient, secure, and green IT infrastructure. <coughs> uh, we experience uh, uh, lots of problems when we use uh, the traditional IT, uh, IT infrastructure. Uh, the first one is uh, long construction period. We need to keep repeating the construction um, process, such as we need to uh, buy, buying uh, by physical servers, and we need to allocate the networkers. Uh, we need to uh, deploy um, operating system, then we can deploy our application. Uh, the second one is unbalanced resource uh, utilization. Uh, some servers uh, are busy, so, they, uh, so the memory and the CPU can fully use, but uh, some servers only occupy few uh, CPU or memory, but they occupy the whole servers. And the second one, uh, uh, the third one is uh, high uh, total cost. Uh, if we want to deliver some uh, network service, we need to uh, rent data center, we need to cover the uh, energy consumption, uh, we need to buy new physical equipment for 
every new project. Uh, and uh, the equipment belongs to specific project, so it's hard to uh, transfer the equipment from one project to another. Then, SR Cloud shows up. Uh, SR Cloud is based on OMSTAC, and the first version was released in 2015. Uh, we didn't change, to change the communi community code too much, uh, so we uh, support, uh, so we support uh, all functions uh, which are supported by uh, community liberty. Then we redesigned the uh, web interface, uh, and the second version was released in uh, uh, 2016. And uh, we implemented some new functions uh, which are not supported by uh, community, such as uh, fault migration, uh, cloud, uh, cloud log, and we start to uh, plan and deploy our uh, chain Ruby cloud based on SR cloud. Uh, and there are uh, 1,000 instances uh, in use. We deployed uh, some um, critical applications uh, for, uh, for passenger and uh, freight volume uh, transportation, uh, scaling management, and uh, public uh, infrastructure system. And another SR cloud-based project involving uh, 1,000 uh, 1, physical um, servers will be com completed in 2019. Uh, okay, uh, next I will introduce Zianfeng to uh, share some uh, uh, technical details for us. Okay, thank you, Yanhong. Uh, we know uh, uh, China Railway uh, uh, we are uh, now is uh, constructing their very large scale cloud uh, environment for their business. And uh, also uh, we know um, Ruby is a very important customer Intel. So uh, several, from, uh, from several months uh, before we started the uh, white paper work to uh, do some testing and validation work uh, for <coughs> to uh, for the uh, for the China Railway uh, cloud setup. So uh, here, I I I would like to share some uh, uh, technical details of our uh, testing work for the the output of the testing work is a white paper. Uh, in the uh, in the in the in, uh, in the end of the talk, we will share the link of the white paper, and also you can pick up the uh, printed white uh, white paper. A book from Intel booth. It's very. Uh, I think the the, the the work is very solid. Uh, other uh, effort is, uh, uh, is uh, has been done uh, uh, among uh, a lot of uh, China Railway and uh, Intel uh, colleagues. So uh, many thanks for other colleagues and uh, friends. So in uh, in this page, uh, that's a, a diagram for the. Uh, Railway's SR Cloud product, uh, the system architecture, and all the components uh, in their product. We can see, uh, you know, uh, it's a, all the, I think all the cloud setup for architects uh, maybe looks uh, similar, um, uh, but, uh, but uh, some uh, very uh, uh, valued point inside this picture. We can see, uh, for example, uh, in the bottom line, we have some uh, uh, low-level hardware resource pool work. In the, we can see in the computing resource pool part, uh, not only uh, SR Cloud uh, uh, will support not only KVM or Zen open source virtualization uh, technology, uh, the SR Cloud can also support uh, VMware and uh, some uh, power VM technology for their business capabilities. And also, uh, the, in the computing resource pool, we can see the SR Cloud can also support the bare metal cloud. And uh, so some other uh, part we can see uh, uh, from the story part. From the story part, the SR uh, Cloud can, uh, can support both 
uh, open source uh, distribution storage and uh, some uh, uh, some uh, commercial uh, pro commercial storage devices. And then in the mid level, we can see the S part. The S part is the uh, 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 all. Uh, all the S part components are based on the OpenStack open source project, uh, including at least Nova, Neutron, Cinder, Glance, etc. And in the past, uh, past layer, we can see uh, uh, SO, uh, SR Cloud has, uh, uh, has, uh, has, has worked out uh, uh, a lot of uh, different part components in their product, uh, including uh, the big data service, uh, the middleware, service and some other, for example, container database, some pass support. And above the uh, pass part, uh, uh, above the pass uh, uh, layer uh, in this picture, you can see uh, China Railway uh, will have a lot of application uh, to be uh, built uh, above the other cloud uh, environment. Yeah, let's go next. Yeah, uh, from this page, we, uh, we, 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 will have, uh, we will talk more about our testing work. Uh, this, this, this diagram is uh, about the China Railway Cloud uh, deployment in their product environment. We can see uh, from this picture, uh, we have three different network, one for the control plane and one for uh, storage and available for public network. And uh, uh, from the, uh, in the in the plan of uh, this year, the China Railway Cloud, uh, the, we can see we will use three control nodes, and uh, uh, and uh, we will use uh, uh, six hundred computer uh, compute nodes and uh, one hundred seventeen storage node. Uh, that's all the setup. We can see. The computer, uh, only the computer node uh, has already uh, above, uh, reached the 600. It's uh, actually, it's, uh, it's a very large setup for OpenStack Cloud. So there will be, uh, in, the, in the testing, we will find uh, many technical gap to be uh, justified. Uh, this table, uh, this table is about the configurations for all the physical machine in the in the real cloud. Uh, we can see the controller node will use the, uh, the 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 configuration of the machine will be used to uh, Xeon uh, computer. Uh, it's use the E5 product, and uh, the memory will be uh, be. Uh, 512 giga, and uh, for the storage in controller node, we will be uh, we will use the uh, two uh, two SATA and uh, uh, two SATA interface SSD devices. Yeah, uh, per, uh, every uh, every SSD device will will, will be about uh, 500 uh, uh, gigabit. Yes, yeah, that set, that setup is enough for the controller node. Uh, for the compute node, we can see there's uh, some difference, and also for storage, there's uh, uh, there's, 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 there's also a lot of change in the uh, in the storage setup. So I will not uh, go go through all the details of the setup. So we can have a look for the for the different set uh, different configuration of uh, different machines for yeah for the three different nodes. Okay, let's go next. Uh, yeah, let's talk about the uh, our all the uh, testings, all the, all the experiments in testing. Uh, the purpose uh, we have three purpose. The first purpose is we uh, uh, we are going to uh, to find out the boundary of the largest scale deployment for a single region. Yeah. It's, so uh, we uh, in this part the most uh, important uh, uh, testing we are we are uh, against the control plane of the OpenStack components. And uh, uh, the second part is about the performance testing, and for the data plane part. So 
uh, in the testing, we have found some uh, bottleneck. Or, sorry, uh, bottle uh, bottlenecks in the uh, in the data plane. So we in the in the in the work uh, in the white paper work, we have uh, 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 we have tried a lot of method to 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 resolve the performance bottleneck problems. So there's a lot of funding in the in the in the testing. Uh, all the data plane uh, uh, testing work we are uh, we are we are cover uh, all the compute and storage and network. Yeah. Uh, and all the open, uh, optimization work we are uh, have uh, have applied all the mo uh, latest uh, IE uh, Intel the platform technologies. Yeah. And the third part testing. Uh, 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 is focusing on the uh, the mission critical application uh, in uh, in China real with the business. Uh, in this uh, in this testing, we we are using uh, the Oracle Rack database for the test case. <coughs> yeah, this is a, a, a topology of the. Uh, of the uh, control plane testing uh, setup, you can see in the, uh, this. This is just a small setup for the testing. Uh, in this testing, we uh, use one single control node and uh, using four uh, compute nodes and use uh, uh, four uh, storage nodes. We can see from this picture, we have used totally nine. A physical machine you know, te for the small scale testing setup. Okay. Uh, this is uh, this is this is the software uh, configurations or the or the or the choice of the software in you know, the testing. Uh, we can see in the for the host operating system, uh, it, uh, the CentOS is used, and for the guest uh, operating system. Uh, also, CentOS was used, but with a lower uh, version. And uh, for uh, the uh, the SR the SR Cloud is using the 2.0 release. Uh, this this 2.0 release is based on uh, community liberty uh, release. Uh, the Ceph for the distributed uh, uh, for the distributed storage part. The self will, yeah, self was used, and with the, the release is zero. Uh, another part is about the monitoring and the logs process. Uh, process. The monitoring is using uh, uh, the monitor is Open Falcon project. Open Falcon is uh, another open source uh, monitoring uh, project. It's not belong to OpenStack, but. Uh, uh, it's uh, very helpful in our testing and very, yeah, it's a, a very uh, fit for the the China railway uh, setup. Uh, for the logs, of, <coughs> sorry, for the logs process, uh, we're using F uh, Flume, Kafka, Spark, and DFS setup. Yeah, the 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 the, the, the stack of the log process is very special in this case. Okay, for the uh, for control plane testing, uh, we have some point of the design. Uh, in this uh, testing, we we are not use uh, we sorry we are not uh, we we are not using the ready project. We just use the uh, uh, to write some uh, simple tools to call the OpenStack API directly. And uh, uh, just mentioned uh, just uh, just now. Uh, the Open Falcon was used for the uh, monitoring data collection, and uh, for the Rapid MQ, uh, uh, for the Rapid MQ uh, uh, testing, uh, uh, have we, uh, we have enabled the Rapid, Rapid MQ the trace function to collect all the message queue uh, logs to to more to. To 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 do more analysis work, and also the log, the log process. We use this special combination to do that. Yeah, 
maybe this picture is the most uh, interesting part. Uh, in the testing, we have found some, uh, uh, we have some, found some uh, 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 valuable things from the, this testing. Uh, we can, uh, I, I, maybe uh, a, a lot of finding that it's not a secret. We, uh, most of our OpenStack users know about that. But uh, yeah, uh, here we can see we, uh, but besides that, uh, another, uh, a lot of other uh, special funding, you know, channel read, channel read with the cloud testing, uh, we have, yeah, we have found and, uh, and, and uh, wrote them in a white paper. Uh, the first part, uh, the first point is uh, we, get, we know uh, the default parameters for the OpenStack component cannot support a large scale deployment and cannot support high stress cloud instance requests. So I, I think, yeah, most of you know about that. The, the, the problem is uh, how we uh, uh, tuning the parameters for larger scale deployment. Uh, in the testings, uh, uh, according to our analysis, uh, most of the uh, bottleneck, uh, bottlenecks uh, happened in the rapid MQ message queue, the stability and the database access. So in the, uh, in the wet paper uh, uh, testing work, in, uh, most of the tuning work uh, happened uh, uh, about the rapid MQ and the database parameters. <coughs> uh, uh, here we have also some details of how we do the uh, uh, optimization work. For the Linux operating system, uh, we need to increase the max number of file descriptors. And also we need to increase the, uh, the max number of process and threads. Uh, about the database tuning, uh, uh, yeah, database are uh, uh, also using MySQL. Uh, we need to uh, tune in the open file restriction parameter and uh, need to enlarge the query catch. Yeah. And the other, uh, for some uh, important OpenStack uh, open services in control plane, uh, especially for all the uh, RPC related services, we need uh, we need to uh, use we need to use uh, uh, many optimized the parameter to 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 reach the high price request requirement. And uh, in the database part, uh, in the test work, uh, we have replaced uh, the, uh, the 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 the, deep, the default MySQL group uh, replication solution with replace the gallery. Uh, a gallery, sorry, a gallery cluster solution. So uh, uh, after the, all the tuning uh, uh, with the, all the optimized parameters, uh, in the finally we can, uh, the testing can, the setup can support, uh, can support the 600 uh, computer node deployment. And also in the setup we can uh, create uh, uh, one million VMs successfully. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, several picture about the testing data. Uh, we can see uh, uh, the <coughs> blue line is the uh, is the testing result before the optimization, and the red and the green one is after the tuning. We can see uh, the, the change very uh, visible here. And also for the, uh, uh, the, the, the cloud instance creation request, uh, we can see uh, that there's a lot of, a lot of difference. The, this picture is about the latency. Uh, we can see the, the, the above picture is, uh, is uh, the, the data from the, the setup before the optimization. And the lower, lower part is after the optimization. So, the, the result is very, uh, yeah, very uh, clear here. Uh, let's, uh, let's start to talk about the data plane uh, testing. Uh, we, 
from the data plane testing, we also found uh, many uh, valuable points uh, in two parts. Uh, one part is about the network, and another part is about the storage. Uh, in network part, uh, we can see uh, the very, very important part is about the front end data, uh, data network for every tenant. Uh, <coughs> uh, we can see uh, if we uh, for the for the high performance uh, uh, for the high performance uh, network uh, 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 loading, we need to separate the uh, separate the control network and the backend storage network. Yeah, another finding is uh, for the network adapters, uh, we have the line of loading features. features. Uh, before, we, we have a picture in the next page, we can see uh, without, the, without the network, uh, the, uh, sorry, without the network NICS uh, VX line uh, of loading feature, uh, the performance uh, very poor. Uh, but if we enable enable the offloading feature, uh, the performance is very yeah very uh, higher than the than the than the the the, the, the first case. Sorry. And uh, 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 the funny storage part. Uh, uh, in our testing, we found we need to place the database on high-performance storage backend. For example, uh, the SSD or some uh, NVMe uh, PCIe card for storage. And also, we need to uh, uh, to place the system log uh, services on the independent high-performance storage, also SSD devices or NVMe devices. Can share another picture of oh, here. Yeah. Yeah. We just now we have uh, we uh, this we have shared this picture. Um, the the third part of the testing about the Oracle Rack deployment uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the stressing stressing access uh, testing. This is, this is the Oracle Rack deployment. Uh, uh, design a top a topology. We can see uh, uh, based on the based on the existing uh, obstacle setup, uh, uh, there uh, there there will uh, we will use uh, two VMs for obstacle uh, deployment. Yeah, this uh, uh, means uh, this uh, blue blue part. Yeah, let's talk about the findings in the uh, testing of Oracle Rex uh, testing. Uh, the first one is uh, for the Ceph. Uh, the, the Ceph, uh, in the testings, uh, the Ceph, uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, firstly, uh, we, I, we need to mention the Ceph uh, is, uh, is, 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 uh, was deployed uh, on SSD, SSD devices. The Ceph is used for the shared log and the data volume for Oracle Rack. So, and uh, and the several Ceph volume are, 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 are <coughs> were used for log data to uh, to provide a high performance database bandwidth and uh, uh, and uh, yeah better uh, better perform, uh, access uh, stability and performance. Uh, for the uh, uh, in the testing, we uh, we use uh, uh, the, uh, the the physical server setup is uh, we, uh, we, uh, we 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 use the four uh, Intel Xeon processors for each for each physical server. Uh, if we want uh, the performance is good enough. Uh, for the memory, uh, we can see. Uh, uh, the suggested uh, suggest, uh, memory setup is uh, 128 gigabit uh, at least. If we want a better performance, we maybe we can double it. Uh, and for the network uh, NIC setup, uh, in the, uh, if, one, if we want to use Oracle Rack in a um, 
with the, uh, with the, with the expected performance, we need to use the two uh, network adapter in one single machine. Uh, the, yeah, uh, uh, all is 10 giga NIC. And also, for if we want a higher performance uh, for the uh, for the network uh, loading, we need, uh, we can we can use more network uh, network uh, uh, set, uh, with a better network setup. For example, we can use uh, four ports and uh, uh, four ports uh, network NIC there, and we can use some uh, uh, high end high end network NIC, for example. Uh, the 25 giga or uh, 40 giga network NIC. Yes, uh, for this part, uh, Yahoo will uh, share with, uh, uh, with, uh, with us about the, the user value or the something. Okay, okay. thanks, Jinfo. Yeah. Uh, after we uh, use uh, SR Cloud, uh, we got lots of benefits. Uh, the first one is we can launch application quickly and the resource management are, uh, is more flexible. And we improve the resource utilization uh, to make the resource allocation more reasonable and uh, uh, efficient. And we cut the total cost. Uh, the, uh, the energy consumption was reduced by 50%. Uh, and we simplified the IT architecture unify the system platforms to make the IT uh, operation and maintenance more easier. Uh, what's more, uh, we got lots of benefits uh, indirectly from the application of SR Cloud. Uh, with its powerful resource management, uh, with its powerful uh, capacities of, uh, of resource management and uh, uh, computing, uh, SR Cloud can um, perform to promote business innovation, uh, application innovation, and uh, management innovation. Uh, then we can better support the railway uh, business trans transformation. After all of this, I want to talk about uh, what we achieved. First one, we joined the cloud uh, ecosystem. We join the open source uh, ecosystem. We have cooperation with lots of um, cloud companies uh, uh, such as Intel, uh, IBM, um, uh, T2 Cloud, and we built a scaled team um, with many OpenStack developers. And we also share our experience to the college. Uh, 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 who are working in railway industry. Uh, the most important thing is we built an operation management system named OMS. OMS can monitor the whole system and uh, uh, it can send uh, warning information if any exception occurs. Uh, it also can fix some exception like uh, such as uh, the service is done uh, or the uh, system uh, is powering off, uh, or the network interface is done. And OMS can collect and analyze the system logs. So if you fail to uh, deploy uh, uh, instance, uh, OMS can tell you why. OK, uh, here's the link of uh, our Web paper, so if you are interested, you can download from this link. Uh, that's all I want to share today. Thank you all. Thank you.